air conditioning. This air conditioning goes above the hospital. One of the reasons that allows us to understand this complex is that we found the engine or the air conditioning, of course, outside, next to the Qatari uh, compound, inside the hospital, electricity, full electricity. The gear that was inside here was evacuated before we entered, but look at the ceiling. This is not just a, it's not just a regular tunnel. This is a high facility compound. And look, the terrorists, they don't like to have a roof without, uh, like, <laughs> a decoration, you know? I mean, he will, not, he will not like to see a concrete in the top of him. So he put, uh, he put uh, a new roof, like, a, with decoration and, and nice. And they have your conditions. They have your conditions, too. Or so, more toilets here. <laughs> Yeah, because this is a nation who pays a lot. I mean, they get pissed from everything. You make a cartoon, they get pissed. You make a movie, they get pissed. You say a word, they get pissed. It's a pest of nation. They are pissed. Even when the Arab, they send them food, they get pissed. Did you see the video of the guy saying, look, look, you know, thank you, Arab. Thank you for the donation. You sent us best squid at one year old. Even the water, the water doesn't taste good. So you send them food for free, you send them money for free, you send them water for free, and then they spit at you. This is why Saudi Arabia don't care for them no more. I mean, all of thing, these things that they are making, etc., they will never care for them. They gave them billions of dollars before. At the end, they spit at them and they curse the Saudi. And they curse the Emirati. In fact, there's videos on YouTube, you will see how those called Palestinian, they go chase Saudi and Emirati and they spit at them. Or so, more toilets here. Of course, they tried to seal it. They tried to seal it also with with the sand and other components that we will not be able to enter here. We evacuated the sand. We opened up those uh, entrance so we can go in, but they trying to ruin uh, this tunnel in order for us not to, not to be able to enter. Look how long, look how big. And this is, by the, by the way, after many are blocked, there's many places they could not go in because they put a lot of sand inside. And those uh, soldiers, they have to be careful when they move the sand because they might, they might mean there is a trap in there. There's a bomb or, you know. The stairs here going down. Electricity from all over the sides are electricity. this electricity compound of course, all this electricity gear of course comes out from the hospital the hospital provides in that sense electricity to this terror mechanism of the tunnel uh, I see Andrew in the text he's saying Hamas bombed the hospital not IDF in fact neither Hamas neither IDF bombed the hospital the hospital is there they lie. Nobody bombed the hospital. It was a big fat lie. The explosion happened in the parking lot. Have nothing to do with the hospital and far away from this hospital. <laughs> what is how they bombed the hospital and now just yesterday they evacuated the hospital? I mean, what the Israeli are using, like firework to bomb the hospital so they destroy one room? Either we say they bomb the hospital, the hospital is destroyed, or not. Israeli, when they bomb a place, the whole place will collapse in a second. The hospital is there. Actually, they got down from there, from the hospital. And not only that, did you see the videotape they got from the hospital? So they have the, they have still the videotapes, the cameras, everything is working. The electricity. 
15 years, this unique Mac, every, every area that we see arches are, uh, we understand that it assembled, that it has a tunnel next to it. This is how we revealed some of the tunnels. So it's a unique structure of Hamas tunnels in the last 15 years. You see, this is why you should not wear, you should not watch intelligence, like uh, in intelligence tape from the intelligence department of the army with women. Tracy, she is saying, move the clip. He have a scary eyes. Oh boy. This is why we should keep only in the CIA and FBI men only. <laughs> women, they will be watching. You have a scary eyes. No one want to watch this video. You have a scary eyes, man. I mean, go on. So why are you looking at his eyes? Look at the tunnel, the tunnel, the tunnel, Tracy. Focus on the tunnel. The video is about his the tunnel, not about his eyes. Oh boy. His eyes. The, the warriors, it took time to make sure that this area is not booby trapped. We were ready that uh, we were worried <coughs> that it was booby trapped. Uh, cleaning this area, opening it so we can go yes. inside, was a huge task for the forces of the special units that were here. <laughs> See, so they block the other side, they put sands. It goes directly to the street. Meaning it again goes out from the hospital to the north side of the hospital where we found another tunnel. Another tunnel which has a which has an elevator like the Rantisi tunnel and it goes up and goes out. So it's all a tunnel system that ends in the hospital. It's a mechanism of a tunnel system that ends in the hospital. Now we're going to turn left and go out again in the hospital just to see the size of the tunnel. Look at this. This is the blast. This is the this is the blast door, the one that we opened, where we have seen, it, have seen in the movie that we reached to the blast door. We took us time to open it. We were making sure it's not booby trapped. This blast doors allows them to prevent blasts by our air force, meaning it can maintain the preservation of parts of the tunnel to be protected and also it's uh... so is it true when the israeli army said from the beginning of the war that under a shifa hospital there is a command office of hamas guys did they lie by the way they brought many journalists inside the tunnel already many tv stations already I'm playing just the, the IDF uh, uh, recording, so nobody can come and say this is a copyright thing. Uh, but already, many stations, even uh, uh, FP, Reuters, uh, CNN, many stations, they've been there already to record, and you know they have their TV team. They went inside the tunnel. The tunnel. They check. They check to be true. Is it true? Is it really in the hospital, or it's in a different place? So. When they said that they are using the hospitals for terrorism, they were not lying. It's true. In fact, if I am them, I should send the commanders from that time to the hospital area to free the hostages. As long as we are sure that the, you know, the hostages is here. We should not wait. Obviously, all the hospitals are used by Hamas because there is the place where always electricity will be, food will be. They do not even need to cook food. Remember, the hospital have kitchen. They have supply. They have gas. They have a fuel. They have internet. They have everything. And based on in, in the international law, 
you cannot attack a hospital. It's a forbidden area. So Hamas using hospitals as a very safe, secure location where the enemy can maybe will bomb every inch of Gaza. All what they need to do to be under the hospital and they will be protected. Do we have any Mohammedan here? Wanna argue? This is why when we say Israel is right and those cowards are the one who is hiding, using a human being as a human shield. When this guy in his video, he claimed that it is Israel using a human shield. It is the opposite. It is the Muslims who attack. It is the Muslims who kidnap babies and women and children to use them as a human shield. It is the Muslim who, you know, make their tunnels and their houses and schools. Even, even like we saw videos of them using schools, not only under the schools. We play it here in this channel, you, if you remember. For this is for Israel to annex Gaza and to kill as many son of bitches as possible to make sure that this will never happen again. Filthy coward. And anyone, anyone who call for a ceasefire will be a terrorist sympathizer. So God forbid, I don't want to be labeled as a terrorist sympathizer. So I agree with Ben Shapiro. I think we should kill as many son of bitches as possible. Well, let me, so okay. far, but Basa, three, let me, uh, three, no, no, so, so, so far, 3,500 people were killed. Three, you know, so far, so far, he count only, you see, he count only the Muslims. He don't count the Jews. You see, when they kill the Jews, do you notice? He count only from Gaza, the Jews who died by his people, they are not to be counted. Not even a single one he count. This is why I don't like this stupid host. You shouldn't say, shouldn't say to him, okay, what, what, who is the one attack who? Who is the one launched the attack? Who is the one who kidnapped people? Who is the one took babies? Who is the one took women? And you know, this host is sitting like in a... I mean, this is, what a dumb, what an idiot. You are the TV host. When people, they told me to make a video about this, I said, I don't watch them, those things. I know they are a bunch of liars and, you know, those are not, uh, you know, they are not even serious. You cannot take them serious. I know they're quality. Garbage. Shouldn't you get him busted right away? At least bring somebody, he can refute what he said. And even when they choose somebody today in their program, the first question you ask yourself, how much knowledge they have about the issue and what they are going to give us, what they, what they will add to what's happening. So what we heard from this now until now, is just condemning Israel. You know, any person, he have a dignity of little righteousness. He will say the negative and the positive about himself, correct? Because there's no way everything about you is positive. The same I speak about the Israeli government, how stupid they are and how many stupid things they did. So how come you notice and you remember and you are good in counting numbers about how many of Gaza died, but you do not remember one person of the Jews who being killed just because they are Jews and how many they were kidnapped and yet you are talking about the human shit. And this guy is sitting like a donkey in front of him. So what this guy, Morgan, he bring? A false man, hypocrite liar. Give him the stage so he can false fabricate, manipulate, fool as many as he can. This is what they are doing. And their show, by the way, all what they care for is about how many of you that will bring. So I will bring somebody, he say all the stupid things, and that will bring more people to talk about it. 